Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today's video I have a special guest with me, my mini-me. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Aaliyah. <laughs> okay, her name is Aaliyah, if you did not hear that, after the great Aaliyah Houghton. In today's video, um, of course, as you can see, I am going to style the both of our hairs, this cute little hairstyle, of course. I have, of course, this is not my hair, but <laughs> I just wanted to match her um, natural hair. We just wanted to do a mother-daughter look-alike video, pretty much, if you want to say that. Um, she was supposed to have hoops like me, but one of them broke, so we just had to... <laughs> um, we definitely had to just improvise and use those hoops. If you guys are definitely new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click those post notifications so you never miss another video and let's get right okay so i'm starting on Aaliyah's hair first <laughs> she's so silly um her hair was freshly shampooed conditioned i actually added a mask um from cream of nature i've left it on her hair for about 30 minutes and i put a shower cap over her head um of course i wrapped it in the twist so her hair could be moisturized because she really her hair texture very very soft but it just like sucks up a lot of moisture like you have to just saturate 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 her hair with moisture just for it to be moisturized pretty much because she definitely has dry dry hair so what i'm about to do here is definitely part the hairs in the front just to make the box you're going to see a lot of faces from her because she is very very tender-headed like when I say very tender-headed, she cries a lot, but I'm so proud of her for not crying during the video. I guess she's like, I told her it's okay that she could cry, but she was just like, yeah, I'm gonna stick it out. I'm gonna be a G about this. <laughs> so what I'm doing here, I'm going to part uh, the front part of her hair because I wanted to do you know the two rows so i'm just splitting it down the middle here and it's gonna take me a little while because i don't know what it is like when i'm parting from behind it just i have to get it perfect okay especially with her hair i have to get it perfect Next, I'm going to uh, split it up into three pieces here, so three boxes. And I'm going to add um, the, what is that called? The Edge Booster. Oh my God, you guys, that one smells so good. That one, oh my God, that's the blueberry. It smells amazing. Um, <laughs> we both were like, oh my God, it smells like candy. It smells so good. That was my first time actually adding Ed edge booster it does leave a white cast by the way um you would have to add a little bit of moisture um not moisture what am i saying a little bit of oil just so you don't see the white cast um after but i am splitting her hair up into the three boxes and i'm going to add a rubber band for each as you can see here now it may look like i'm doing it tight but it's not tight i've I'm actually doing it really, really loose. I don't want to pull her hair too much. Um, you know, her hair is still pretty, I want to say, mature enough. You know, it's still mature. Don't want to, you know, put tension on her hair at all. As you know, my daughter's hair is delicate to me. So, <laughs> but um, here you see that I'm twisting them. I'm going to do the boxes, split them down, do the twists pretty much and then I'm going to connect them together all right so I have repeated the same steps on the other side as you can see here that was the look that I was going for and now what I'm doing is just spraying her hair with a little bit of um, water just to, 
add some more moisture in her hair like i said earlier you know her hair sucks up a lot of product so um i added the edge booster to slick down her edges and her hair back and i'm just going to brush the rest of her hair back in a ponytail i know you guys have noticed that she's looking in the other direction that means she's watching her little shows on the tv anything to distract her from uh going nuts while i'm doing her hair <laughs> Now it is time for the hair accessories. I am I bought this ribbon. It's like a gold ribbon. I bought it from my beauty supply store, local beauty supply store. And I'm just accessorizing pretty much her hair, just adding it. Um I'm using my crochet needle to pull them through. You know guys, I really don't know what the hell I was doing at this point. Like it was it was I was so tired. It wasn't even, I mean, look where I started it in the middle. It just, at this point here, it was really jacked up. But I just kept going <laughs> because, yeah, I don't even know why. But I did end up going back to fix the front of her hair with this ribbon or, I don't know what that's called. But this little string, the gold string here, I did definitely go back and fix it. Don't worry, I did not leave it looking jacked up like that. Alright, now that I am done with my baby girl, I am starting my hair. My hair, of course, is shorter. I, Ever since I did my big chop, I've never actually really did uh, reviews on it. I do apologize about that, guys, but my hair has grown a lot. Um, I did a big chop back in April 2018. 
my hair I cut it as short as possible I, I don't think my hair has ever been that short um but yeah so I'm just repeating the same process that you have seen me do earlier with my daughter nothing really changed much I mean yeah my hair is shorter but it's pretty much the same thing I use the same products did the same exact thing so I'm just going to stop rambling and let you guys watch enjoy some music Okay, so although it's um, fairly easy to say that I am able to put my hair in a pony ponytail now, but I still like to add the edge control like in certain parts of my hair just to kind of make it easier for me to pull it back because I really have thick, thick hair, if you can't tell. My hair is extremely thick, soft but thick. <laughs> so I like to add it in certain parts and then I'll just brush it back just to blend it in there and then pull my hairs back into the ponytail. That was like so challenging, I don't know why. But now um, I'm going to add my ponytail. I did pick this up at my local beauty supply store. 
can't remember off the top of my head the name i did show it to you but that was really really quick so i will definitely list that down in the description box below the only thing i remember is that the hair is 16 inches um maybe it's coming back to me i want to say cuban twist hair i don't know i'll leave everything down in the description box below but i did pick this up i just wanted it to look like it was my natural hair and to match my daughter's hair as well and i'm just adding um the clips in and i already did that <laughs> um i'm just like kind of brushing it out pulling out the ends because they were a little bit like knotty at the ends and fluffing it out pretty much and now i'm going to just turn around show you how it looks in the back I feel like certain styles you know they deserve the baby hairs so i decided to brush some baby hairs with my hair as well most of the time i will leave it you know i'm not a baby hairs person but i feel like this style deserved some baby hairs so i'm adding that for you guys and for myself of course So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the hairstyle. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.